Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Everything Scuba. I'm Lyle. I'm Josh. Lyle and I are scuba instructors here in the Midwest. We are. We're pretty passionate about scuba diving. We created this channel because we want to make you just as passionate about scuba diving. So if you're a diver, you want to learn how to be a better diver, you want to learn how to scuba dive, click that subscribe button, ring the notification bell. Don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. So this is the second part of the series that we're putting together, introducing you to the components of your scuba unit. Uh, the previous episode, we talked about the air cylinder. What kind of things do we need to know about that? If you missed that episode, right above Josh's uh, head here is a link that'll take you right back to that video. What are we gonna talk about today, Josh? So today we're talking about the BCD, or buoyancy control device, or some people say a buoyancy compensatory device. Okay. And so yeah, it's an important, it's kind of the base of our scuba kit. All right, so we're gonna run over. We'll uh, give you a tour of your BCD. Hang around. Okay, welcome back to Everything Scuba. I'm Josh. Today we're over here at North Iowa Scuba and we're looking at a jacket style BCD or buoyancy control device. So what does that mean, buoyancy control device? Well, when we go dive, the deeper that we go due to the pressure, our body compresses. And we're gonna have a tank as Instructor Lyle already showed you, and other uh, equipment that's going to make us want to sink. To compensate for that at different depths, we need to be able to adjust our buoyancy. So a BCD, or buoyancy control device, is essentially an air bladder that wraps around you in a jacket style, and this is going to act like a balloon. We can add, this will connect to our regulator, connect to our air cylinder, and we can add with this gray button, or release air with this top button, and that will help us adjust our buoyancy once we're in the water. There are a few generic things about a jacket style BCD that all BCDs are going to have. You know, for one, we have releases. This happens to have a chest buckle. It also has shoulder straps that you generally put this on almost like a backpack, but in the case of need to, this has releases. You can adjust these shoulder straps. This happens to have a handle, which is nice to carry around. Uh, it's also nice to be able to check once you've attached to the tank. In the back here, we see this is our cam buckle. This is what's going to go around our tank that we'll see. There are different styles of tank straps. Um, this is a pretty common style. This has a safety strap that's going to go over the yoke or over the valve on your cylinder. And once the regulator is attached, even if this cam buckle is loose or fails, this is going to make sure that your BCD is attached to your cylinder. This one happens to have trim pockets in the back. This is going to be a place where you can add some trim weight to help get a proper trim position in the water. This has a right side hip dump. This is a, a quick release of air. When we're in a position of good trim, roughly horizontal in the water, if we try to use our low pressure inflator to release, air would have to go down and then up in a loop. Air does not like to go down before coming up. Air is going to want to be the highest point. In that instance, we could use this hip dump to release a little bit of air. This BCD happens to also have a right shoulder quick dump, as well as most, most BCDs today, if you pull on the low pressure inflator, it acts as a quick dump. What other features does this BCD have? It has large pockets for the most part, we're not gonna have our students put things in the pockets, but some people, for us, we may carry a slate in there. Uh, some people carry a backup cutting device, uh, other items. This BCD has what they call the Octo Pocket, and we'll show when we put this together. Um, it's one way to tidy your, your secondary uh, Octo. We also have this little rubber bungee. We'll show how that can hold a regulator. On the other side, it has a pass-through spot for your pressure gauge or console. Has a pocket on the other side. And then 
Aqualung has a quick release, their Sherlock weight pockets. We'll talk more about weight pockets, why they would want to be quick release uh, as we move on and when we talk about weighting. This one also has a waist strap as well as a Velcro cummerbund. Makes it a little bit more comfortable. The waist strap doesn't need to be real tight. You still feel nice and secure. We will go over the functions in more detail once this is together. Again, this is the low pressure inflator. There are a few simple functions. This gray button is how we add air. So we would push the button and add air. This top button will release air. So as we adjust our buoyancy in the water, sometimes we need to add some air when we go deeper and we need to release air when we come up. We can also orally inflate and when we orally inflate, we have to push that button in so it allows air to go in. And we'll go through that in more detail later. This is the quick coupler connection and this will come from your first stage of your regulator set and it will supply cylinder gas to the BCD. It has a sweet little cover. So again, this is a jacket style BCD. There are many types of BCDs as well as harness and back plates. Uh, and that's all just for back mount cylinders. There's also twin back mount cylinders, side mount, um, and then you get into the world of rebreathers, which often will use a different style of BCD as well. So thank you for watching and coming up next, we will talk about regulator sets.